The movie Groundhog Day is about learning and growth. Phil Connors experiences the same day over and over, but he uses those repeated mundane events and failures to learn and finally become self-actualized. It's a story of continuous learning. Well, continuous learning works in business, too. But most business leaders only learn by looking in the rearview mirror. Data Lakes simply provides snapshots of the past about what happened yesterday, last week, or last month. The flaw in this thinking is that historical insights only matter if conditions stay the same. I call it the 10 for 10 syndrome. You're watching a basketball game and the announcer says, hey, this guy made 10 of his last 10 shots, and we all know what happens next. Clang! Like a repeating Groundhog Day, continuous analytics can be a vehicle for learning. For example, we recently filed patents that borrow from neuroscience about how humans learn to walk and applied those ideas to business events. It's pretty complicated under the covers, but with modern tools, it's pretty easy to do. Here's how. First, you connect to streaming data, IoT sensor readings, transactions, Kafka events, pretty much any data that's in motion. These are seemingly mundane events in a typical business day. Next, you query the stream, not the lake. Continuous queries are questions that stream-based systems answer with every event over and over and over. So they become questions about the future, and they monitor for questions like, are things as they should be? Am I veering off course? Did something important just happen, or is it about to happen? Like the bear and the salmon in the stream, it's a constantly shifting and changing game. Finally, you attach that continuous query output to live dashboards so you can watch moments unfold, just like a movie. Here's an example. An insurance company uses this dashboard to track the changing weather forecast as a storm approaches its customers. Each event, change in the supply chain, or logistical action is reevaluated in real time and into the future. As the forecast changes, we see at a glance where damage is expected to be the worst. Algorithms fire to anticipate damage. Now, leaders can take the streaming data and decide where to deploy adjusters next and how to fix issues before they impact customers. Or the company can simply warn their clients in advance to help keep them safe. These actions can be taken right from the application, and the learning happens on the fly. Continuous analytics applies new advances in streaming data, streaming analytics, and streaming data science. It's used to apply AI to diagnose healthcare issues up to 52 weeks in advance, right on the spot as you're meeting doctors and nurses in Singapore. Adjust supply chain and logistics based on weather or traffic changes, or determine the next best action to engage customers based on their real-time sentiment, or even optimize robotic manufacturing with streaming IoT sensor data. As poet David White says, Waking in response to change is a litmus test for leadership. So flip your analytics thinking upside down. Don't only look at the past. Query the future, learn from the stream, and act continuously instead.